This week on Fly Rod Chronicles, we are doing something a little different. We are not only practicing catch and release, we are giving back. Our good friends and partners at Westervelt Ecological Services were not able to travel this year due to COVID. So they asked me to donate a trip of a lifetime to a person that deserves such a trip and to an organization equally as deserving. After a brief discussion with my daughter, Lakin, she brought up the two-year battle with leukemia that her good friend, Brett, fought, and because of the incredible facilities and staff at WVU Medicine Children's Hospital and Brett's determination, they beat the odds. We made a couple phone calls, and my buddy, Steve, and his daughter, Madison, fired up a private jet and we picked up Brett and his father Andy and headed to North Georgia to meet some southern gentlemen and fish with Dry Fly John and his son Micah and topped it off with a private concert by country music artist Thomas Fountain. Oh, did I forget to mention Big Monster Fish on the Fly? So stick around. Traveling the world? Fishing? Enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it and I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. We made it down to North Georgia. We got off the plane, got in our vehicles, and we got out here to some great trout waters. It's time to uh, get Brett hooked up with our guide John and Micah and get on the water. So 2013 is the last time you fly fish? Yep. Trying to, going. trying to recall on the way down here. Man. 10 yeah. to 2, whatever they were telling me on the way down. <laughs> well, you know, it's going to be 2021 here. Yeah. So you've got a little gap here. <laughs> you know, it's like riding a bike, though. You're, you're going to have a little rust. I got some professionals around me. I think they'd show me what I'm doing. That you do. These, these guys from uh, North Georgia may be some of the best in the world because in the summer, they spend their time in uh, Alaska and uh, they, they don't get any rust on them. So when they take the fly, you're just going to have your hand like this, mm -hmm. not touching it, let them run. When they settle down, then I'll have you start to reel. When they boom, boom their head, you just let go of the reel, okay? okay. What happens is we usually break off fish. When we're reeling and yeah. they're trying to run off, that's when people usually break. Or if they're running and you grab that green line like this, you're like, oh, yeah. it'll just snap them off. But as long as this reel works with that tip and protects that tippet, we're good. Oh, good. Oh. Reel up, reel up, reel up. Atta boy, atta boy, atta boy. Slow, slow, nice. Slow, slow. Look at your rod. Look at this, remember? You want a full bend, not a jig. Yeah. You want to make a C out of it. There it is. That's much. But see the difference? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Good looking fish. Stay right there. And real, real, real good. Just like that. You want to feel that kind of real good. Keep, keep the pressure on him. Nice. Nice. In a minute, he's going to figure out that he's hooked. He's going to zip past us. Yeah, he's. Back. Yeah. You're going to stay right here and, keep, and you're going to. Look at that guy, baby. Look at this guy. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, how's that for your first fish in Georgia? Huh? Holy Delita. Oh, look at that. 
Look here. He's got a license plate on that side of him. Look how big he is. What 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 a rainbow, huh? Beautiful. I mean, yes. I mean, that's as long as your arm. Look at that thing. Look at that guy. Good job, Brett. Yeah. Thanks, sir. That's awesome, buddy. Your your senior year, you're you're walking to class. Yep. And and what happened? I was walking to class. I had just gotten back from Daytona Beach for a little spring break. And I was feeling weird that morning. I packed a bag to go to class, packed another bag to work out afterwards just because I thought I needed to sweat some stuff out. Yeah. And Philippi is no flat ground. So <laughs> we, my apartments were down lower and the school was up on the hill. Yeah. So you had to walk up about, I don't know, seven, eight flights of stairs to get up there. And I got to the top of those stairs and I was out of breath, exhausted. Yeah. I took about four more steps, fell over. But I got up and like made my way to the classroom and I sat down in class and my buddy looked at me and said, man, you look awful. I said, yeah, something's wrong. And I said, after this, you gotta take me to the hospital. And so my roommate and good buddy in that class took me, drove my truck to the hospital. So what was that like when you, when you heard that you had leukemia? They sat me in a room and they did all kinds of tests on me. And the doctor said, you've got something, it's not good. Yeah. And I said, all right, what is it and where do we go from here? Right. She started explaining and I said, well, let's get this show on the road. Let's, let's get it going, I don't want to waste any time. Yeah. So from there they put me in back in ambulance and hauled me off to WVU, yeah. Children's Center. TV now. Atta boy. Good move. Woo. Nice. Nice move, Brett. So why why WVU um, Medicine Children's Hospital? I mean, you I mean, you live in Northern Virginia. You got access to DC, Baltimore, some major universities. Where we live, it's about the same distance everywhere, to yeah. Morgantown, yeah. to Nova, to Charlottesville. Right. But when I was in West Virginia and they wanted to act as quick as possible, yeah. and they wanted, they said, WVU is our closest option. And I right. said, that's fine with me. And then once I got there and realized the doctors that were taking care of me, I felt like I was in good hands. They were, told me every step of the way and I just, I just felt comfortable with them. I mean, you, you had to go through chemo, you know, you, 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 you're losing hair, you're losing weight, you got an infection, and you came this close from having your, your leg amputated. Yeah, that infection was, I was in ICU, I think about 10 days, and there was doctors sitting on the edge of my bed just puzzled what was going on. They right. couldn't figure, and then they, they came up with a cure and it, it stopped in its tracks. And, Right. Thank God, because it yeah. saved my leg. Yeah. Do you, I mean, do you feel that, do you feel like you owe West Virginia WVU Medicine Children's Hospital that, that they, they did save your life? That oh, they brought? no doubt about it, absolutely. My leg, my life, everything. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's something that brings us back around to this trip. Wouldn't be here without them. Yeah. And this is what you looked forward to and this is what they told you it would be. If you yeah. just stuck to the program and just, it's gonna suck for a few months, few years, yeah. but you'll get there yeah. and it happened. I called you and I was like, Brett, you know, it, it's gonna be tight getting down here so Who's a friend you want to bring? I want to bring my dad. Yeah, so tell, me, was, tell me about that. He was the one who was the first one there up in West Virginia when I was diagnosed and he sat with me more than anybody else. 
So I thought, hell, he can sit in a hospital room for that long, he can come down here and fish. I said, Brett, I said, um, I said, you ready for this trip? He said, oh, he said, Curtis, I'm just jacked about going down there and, and, and being able to fly fish with you and, and all this. And I said, uh, I got an email and I said, I said, I see where you want to bring a friend. And he's like, he's like, yeah, he said, um, he said, I want to bring my dad. He said, you know, he said, for two years while I was laying in that hospital bed and he said, he was there for me. And he said, matter of fact, he said, he's always been there for me. He said, he's my best friend. And he said, we hunt together, we fish together. And he said, I want to bring him. Well, I, you know, I, I immediately was like, well, you know, we'll drive if, if we have to, because, you know, I just, the humbleness in Brett just blew me away. Well, he is, he's a very humble kid and he's yeah. a good kid. Yeah. You know, and we've just always had a good relationship. Yeah. You know? yeah. And we did. I mean, I spent two years sitting in a hospital bed, and, you know, the poor guy, I mean, just not fair. Just not fair. Yeah. If I could have taken that from him, I'd have done it in a second, you know. That's right. But, yeah. so we, you know, we stuck with him and made it as, tried to make it as easy for him as we could. And it was a, it was a struggle, but, yeah. you know, yeah. he's come back strong. Atta boy. Set of rock. Oh, woo, woo, woo. Hey, hey, Brett. Brett, you got a rock? Hey, you have a rock? Huh? All right, let her run if it wants to run. I don't, I don't think a rock comes up out of the water like that, Brett. <laughs> see, see the difference? Yeah. You just got it. Good job, bud. Uh, John, for the TV, we need a little more sound effects. Can you do that again? Yeah. <laughs> Someone to hear the pop. Right, 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 right. Here he is, baby. He's a good look. Get ready, get ready. Oh my goodness. Up, up, lift up. Okay. E Ooh. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, Jesus. What do you think of it? Quick stick, John. Oh my God. That one's bigger than last one. Oh my God. When we hooked that rainbow, I was, I didn't think it would be that heavy. It was, and it fought. I, it went up and downstream fast. And I was just trying my best not to let it go because I let a few go before that. And I just kept the rod bent like he was telling me. And just till we scooped it in, it was amazing. That thing was huge. I never knew a trout could even get that big. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, oh, here he comes by me. He's coming by me 100 miles an hour. Get ready, guys. Watch out, 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 watch out. That fish went by me 100 miles an hour. Watch out. We are going for a ride. Come back to Fly Rock Chronicles after this. We are in a dog fight. Welcome back to Fly Rock Chronicles. We're, I think, in Louisiana now. I still got him? Oh, I feel him fighting. Yep, heads up, heads up, heads up. Oh, fish boy, you gotta be kidding me. He's still on. He just went to Tennessee on me. Look at this guy. Watch out, here he comes. He's coming by you. You got to be kidding. He's right here, hold on. Put your pressure to Brett. There you go. You've got to be kidding me. He may dart again. Hold on. Hold on. He's, he's taking it off. He's coming at you. He's coming. Right on the log here. Hold on. Brett, you see him? Uh-uh. Watch out, watch out. There he is, yeah. Oh, my. 
You gotta be freaking, you gotta be kidding me. Look at this fish. Look at this. Do you believe this? Look at, seriously. Come over here, Curse. You, you can break well, you, Who's got the net? He's right here. This way, this way. Pull your, pull your fish over. He's right here. He's right here. Ready to go. You're ready. He's going to go on here too. Just stick, stick, stick. That's a big bird. That's a ball. Pull, baby. That's how pull, you net, dude. Woo, woo, woo. That's how you net. Oh, my gosh. Dude. That was a good one. Oh, my gosh. And look here. He got a rock, too. That's a crazy. Oh, my gosh. Look at this thing. Okay. You got to be kidding me. It was a fun week, it was, no, a weekend. It was a fun weekend. Caught a lot of big fish, a lot of, lost a lot of big fish. A lot of laughs. Yes. A lot of, a lot of hair flowing in the wind. This is true. I enjoyed getting to know everybody. It was a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you guys. Hot damn. The brown town. Oh, he's, he's a good, no, it's a big rainbow. All right, good fish, Steve. Good fish. Yes, baby. Yeah, dude. Woo, woo, woo. Look at that pig. I'm speechless. Right. He, he's a TV fish. He's a TV fish. <laughs> baby. So as you can see, Steve don't mess around, man. Oh, look at John! Look at John! He's oh, she. Uh, that's been a great, uh, great part of this trip too, is to get to know Brett and his his dad Andy Lewin. Uh, very, very humble people, very appreciative of WVU uh, uh, Children's Medicine. Uh, admittedly saved his life. And, uh, um, you know, they just can't say enough good things. And I've, I've seen that so many times. Uh, we're so blessed to, uh, to have the, uh, the current WVU Children's Hospital and, and then the new uh, WVU Medicine Children's that will uh, be on time and on budget and will open next June. It, it is so incredibly important to the youth of our state and our region, uh, but, but to West Virginia too. Right. And um, um, you know, I'm, I'm just honored to be, a, to be a small part of it. It really, it's, a, it's really been rewarding and a blessing to me. Uh, not only are we gonna have one of the finest children's hospital facilities in the country, but you know, Amy works tirelessly recruiting uh, uh, doctors and PAs and, and nurses. Uh, we're going to have some of the finest staff there. And, um, you know, I'm proud. I'm proud of that. Proud for West Virginia. West Virginians need to be proud of this because it's something very special. We've got uh, Thomas Fountain, um, Nashville country music artist. Uh, um, grew up in the mountains of uh, North Georgia. He's going to come and play some music with us. and. We're gonna have a little barbecue, and uh, and you know, again, this is all on behalf of. Uh, it started with our good friends from Westervelt Ecological Services. He, he's a TV fish. He's a TV fish. That's a boy. That's how you net, dude. <laughs> Every step I take, there's something in my way. The storms keep raging, always surround me, but I reach out. You know, you told me the first time I met you that you guys at Westervelt Ecological Services, that you guys were not going to be sponsors. It wasn't about a sponsorship. It was about a partnership. Listen, what you did 
for WVU Medicine Children's Hospital was absolutely incredible. You made a kid's dream come true. Yeah.